oh my God, I live for this. I live for inspiring women to break up with men that suck. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God. But I realized yesterday when I was talking to someone who follows me who's gonna help me like make stuff like hats and stuff. I'm gonna more on that later because I really want y'all's help with that. Um, you know, merch, because now that I'm on private, y'all, I can't really make money off this. Link in bio if you wanna do whatever. Um, so when I was talking to her, like what my page is really about, I, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I feel like my page is, or what I, I try for, for, to make it, is a, a safe space where everyone feels safe as long as they're being respectful if you're not being respectful get the fork out um where we can all experience the stages of grief around patriarchy and especially dating cishet men it's not this is just for people who date cishet men right this is for everybody but i have people who follow me who are just out of you know abusive relationship and they are just devastated they're devastated and they're in shock. And sometimes I, I tell stories to help them feel seen and not as embarrassed or ashamed because I dated a, literally a homeless man who tried to unalive me. And I was 36. <laughs> like, yeah, I should know better, but whatever. There's also, I, I, I like people who are on my page who are, you know, in another stage, the anger stage. The stage that I myself didn't go through until... Uh, I got married. I skipped that stage. My friends and my sister made fun of me for that. They were like, you're doing a little too well, Melanie. I think you kind of skipped the angry part. Like, you you know, and that, that part of that is just a survival mechanism. And it totally makes sense why I was a climber and a raft guide and all these big sports that made me so tough, you know, because you don't have time to process things. You don't have time to deal with things. You just keep moving on. And I'm really good at that. I'm very adaptable and I move on really quickly. Uh, but at a certain point, this crap catches up with you, right? So since I got married, my husband created a safe environment for me to tap into anger. And holy crap, that's a, that's a scary stage. So I have people in my comments who are like, men are trash, fork all men, blah. And you know what? That's an important stage. There's other places, like there's so many stages of this, right? And so another stage is when you're in it. You're in it and you don't even realize that you are being screwed. And I love to make content that helps people see just how much they're getting screwed, but also gives them hope. Gives them hope for like what a, a single life looks like. I led the best single life. I love my single life. And now that I've met a really good man, I like my life with him. It's awesome. So I love that my content help you realize you deserve more.